What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about why I started investing in the stock market, when I started investing in the stock market, how I got involved, and what some of my progress has looked like over the years. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Use promo code THANKS for a 15% discount until midnight tonight. This is a Thanksgiving weekend sale that ends in just a couple of hours, so please move quickly. Try out some G Fuel Energy Formula, $5 off your first order by clicking the link in the description. And of course, last but certainly not least, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Refer one friend by the end of the month and they're going to give you 30 free fractional shares of some of the most rock solid companies on the planet, Ford, Coca-Cola, Apple, Starbucks, the list goes on. If you refer three friends by the end of the month, Weeble's going to give you a guaranteed free share of Apple with the chance of winning all the way up to 20. If you refer seven friends by the end of the month, they're going to give you a guaranteed two free shares of Apple with the chance of winning all the way up to 40. And for every friend you refer that enables crypto trading on the platform, Weeble's going to give you $5 worth of a crypto of your choice. Everything will be linked in the description. All right, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about why I started investing in the stock market. Now, I posted a video a couple days ago briefly mentioning why I'm thankful for a variety of the different things that I do between work, between investing, between stacking. And I explained that I started investing toward the end of 2019, although it wasn't really investing. It was more so dabbling, a little bit of trial and error, and just kind of getting my feet wet and just trying things out. And to be honest with you, I was more so trying to familiarize myself with the stock stock market than I was actually investing. But it actually goes back a little bit further than just late 2019 because me and two other friends of mine, two very good friends and former business partners of mine, we actually used to meet up at Applebee's like once a month, sometimes twice a month. And we would just go over different business ideas and it was mainly just like a mastermind session we would call it. See, I was like the sales and marketing guy. I'm good when it comes to business and branding and consulting and all that. My other friend, Rob, he's fantastic when it comes to the stock market. And my other friend, Tony, he's fantastic when it comes to real estate. So you put the three of us together, three young, money-motivated, driven, enthusiastic, business-minded individuals. Oh my God. It was... It was next level. But we used to do this all the time. And I used to tell my friend Rob, I was like, I have no, I, I, I'm just, I'm so illiterate when it comes to the stock market. I don't get it. I've looked into it. I've looked at it. I don't understand. It's too complicated for me. But eventually, one day later down the road, I want to get involved. And I remember saying way back in the day, this was like before Elon Musk became as intense as he's become over the last two or three years. This was going back like 2016, 2015. I don't even know how many years ago it was. But I remember saying to him, when I do get involved in the stock market, I want to buy Tesla. <laughs> I remember saying that way back in the day. In hindsight, I should have gotten started and I should have bought Tesla way back then. Imagine how much money I could have made. But anyway, we would have these mastermind sessions. And obviously Tony would talk to us about real estate. Rob would talk to us about the stock market and I'd talk to them about you know business, marketing, sales and whatnot. So that's kind of how I was first introduced to the stock market and my friend Rob, he had a lot of success, major success, immense amounts of success. He was fortunate to have had certain family members point him in the right direction. They didn't give him a penny. They just said, work your face off and invest in this, 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 and this. And he did just that along with you know making a variety of, of his own decisions and he saw quite a bit of success. I, however, 
didn't have any family members steering me in that direction. I, my family members don't have no idea about anything personal finance related, really. But I got on an investing app in Q4 of 2019. And I think it was September. So I spent September, October, November, December familiarizing myself with the app, familiarizing myself with the stock market. And I knew at the time that there were three industries that I wanted to be a part of. So I was kind of researching those industries and different stocks, different companies within those three industries and trying to narrow it down as best as I could so that I could make the best decision possible. Moving on into 2020, this is still what I was doing. I was kind of just dabbling, doing a little bit of trial and error, trying to figure certain things out and just really try to understand because when I first got involved, I didn't naturally know how to do any form of analysis, fundamental technical analysis. I had no idea. I didn't know what PE ratios were. I didn't know what dividends were. In fact, when I got my first dividend payment, I asked my friend Rob, what the heck is this? Why did I get paid? What, like, what did I do? How, how, did, how did this happen? I had no idea. I didn't even know that existed. That's how illiterate I was when it came to the stock market. I knew nothing. I didn't even know what was affecting it. I knew nothing at all. It made no sense to me. But as it turns out, once you get the basics down, like once you have a, a, a solid understanding of the basics, everything else is very, very, very easy to learn. And you can analyze like, just like that. It's fairly simple. Once you get the ball rolling. And once I got the ball rolling, I, I had just got to the point where I was confident enough to start investing probably around March of 2020. I, up until then, I was just dabbling. I was buying a couple little things here and there. I wasn't really doing anything serious. But right, you know, toward the end of March of 2020, that's when I was like, all right, I'm ready. And then boom, the collapse of planet Earth happens. Stock market completely falls apart. Every other market completely falls apart. Everything in the world falls apart. People start falling apart. People are running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Oh my God, the sky is falling. We're gonna get sick. Stock market went down 20%, 30%, 40%. Everything crashed. That just crashed, collapsed in the blink of an eye. And I knew that places were shutting down. I knew everything was like a disaster. And I didn't know how this was going to affect my income. So I was like, all right, you know, maybe, maybe I'm not going to invest just yet. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to, I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay cash heavy right now. Cause I don't know if I'm going to have to dip into my emergency fund. I don't know how long this is going to last. And you can actually go back to some of the videos that I posted in early 2020, back when they were originally saying two weeks, two weeks to, to stop whatever. I was the first one to say two weeks can very easily turn into two months and two months can very easily turn into two years. And that's quite literally what happened. It was like a two year, you know, long drawn out process. But I remember saying at the very beginning, I was like, man, now's a beautiful time to buy, but I don't know how my income is going to be affected. So I did the smart thing. I held off. I held on to some cash. I was confident enough to dive in, but I wasn't confident in whether or not I'd still be getting my paychecks. So I held off a little while, two, three, four weeks later, I said to myself, I was like, all right, you know what? This is probably way more dramatic than it needs to be. I'm gonna start investing. Fortunately, everything had st was everything that bottomed out had still pretty much been at the bottom. So I started buying in everything at a 20% discount, 30, 40, 50, 60% discount. I started buying everything. A lot of those decisions that I made ended up being very good decisions. A small number of them, eh, not the greatest decisions. And a small number of them have been incredible decisions. And the ones that were doing very, very well, I continued buying into. And fortunately for me, I was able to spend the entire year of 2020 continuing to just buy and buy and buy and buy because everything stayed low. It wasn't a flash crash, it was a crash from up here, down here, and then it just stayed down here. It just coasted along the bottom. And I just kept buying in. Individual stocks, by the way. In hindsight, it probably would have been best to just buy index funds. That way I wouldn't have had to worry about making good, bad, or fantastic decisions. I could have just, you know how they say, 
needle in the haystack? Well, there was a quote I learned when it comes to investing. It goes, don't worry about trying to find the needle in the haystack, just buy the haystack. Haystack meaning the index fund because the needle is inside, AKA that explosive stock, it's in the index fund. Just buy the S&P 500, you know, instead of just buying, you know, let's just say Apple or whatever, just buy the index fund. Apple's in the index fund, so who cares? Anyway, I spent the entire year buying individual stocks as much as I could, as frequently as I could. And a lot of those stocks, you know, particularly the the uh, the energy sector, oil and gas and whatnot, today, right now, after the brutal, bloody year we've had, I'm up 125% on one of my picks. I'm up 70% on one of my other picks. When it comes to Tesla, I did buy a little bit of Tesla, not gonna lie. I don't focus too heavily on Tesla right now, and I haven't in like a year but I did buy a little bit of Tesla. Big fan of Apple. But to be honest, I'm not too overly fixated on the tech or growth stocks. And when I say growth stocks, I'm looking for growth in every single decision that I make, but that's not the primary focus. I'm not looking for explosive growth. I prefer a slow burn. And that's because I'm a low risk, low reward kind of person. I prefer the blue chips. So, after the year of 2020, I kind of started to understand what type of investor I am. And as it turns out, I'm a dividend income investor. I love the blue chips and I love that passive income. And that's what I spent the entire year building up. Uh, come to find out that, you know, this is just the way that works, you know, the best for me. Spent all of 2021 doing the same thing, kind of narrowed my focus down a little bit more. I stopped focusing on this over here and I started focusing on this more over here. I had a little bit more of a system, a little bit more of a strategy going on. Then 2022, I've been at it, you know, even more. So much so that I went and got myself a secondary job just so I can invest 100% of the paychecks. I've been at this job for, I think, about three months now. To this date, I have invested one hundred percent of every single paycheck i set myself a, a roth ira every single week i make a contribution to that every single day monday through friday i am buying into the market and right now i'm not hyper focused on individual stocks there are a handful that i like to buy consistently but on a daily basis, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as long as the market is open, I am buying into index funds every single day. And I've been doing this for over a year. I can't remember exactly. I want to say it was June. I think it was the June or July of 2021. So it's been about a year and a half of buying into index funds on a daily basis, no matter what the market is doing. I don't care if we're up, I don't care if we're down, I, I don't care if we're red, I don't care if we're green, I don't care if we're freaking purple. Buying in every single day, no matter what. That's why I got started. I, want, I wanted to understand what the stock market was all about. I knew that there was wealth waiting to be built. I just didn't understand how to get involved. As it turns out, I just had to jump in and I had to familiarize myself with the app that I was using. I had to familiarize myself with what was going on with the market. I had to familiarize myself with the different sectors. I had to familiarize myself with, with what was going on in the world, what was causing the ups, what was causing the downs. And I had to figure out and familiarize myself with how to do basic analysis. And then once you get that down, everything else starts to come a little bit more naturally. And then you can continue your trial and error you have to continue getting your feet wet and figure out what type of investor you are. Because I don't think you're going to know right off the bat. I don't think you're going to, you know, really fully understand until you have a little bit of skin in the game. And for me, it's only been a couple of years. It's really only been about a year and a half of like consistent, aggressive investing. And like I said, I'm not too focused on individual stocks anymore. I am still focused on dividend income investing, but through index funds. The S&P 500, that's 500 stocks all in one. And there are a variety of different index funds you can pick from. 
But that's why I got started. I knew that there was wealth waiting to be built. And over the course of the last year and a half or two, even going on three years since I started dabbling, I guess you can say, as it turns out, uh, I, I like the passive income. I like the, I like the dividend income approach and I like the blue chip dividend behemoths, I like to call them. So that's why I got started. That's why I continue doing what I do. And that's how I go about doing it. So if you guys are uh, also in the market, let me know what is your approach. What are you looking for? Are you looking for explosive growth? Are you going after the meme stocks, the the, the meme coins and stuff like that? Or are you a little bit focus, more focused on long-term wealth building, generating cash flow, and investing to build yourself up a financial system that could potentially set you up for the rest of your life? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Remember, use promo code THANKS for a 15% discount until midnight tonight. This is a Thanksgiving weekend sale that ends in just a couple of hours, so please don't miss out. Try out some G Fuel Energy Formula, $5 off your first order by clicking the link in the description. And of course, last but certainly not least, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. You could deposit as little as you'd like and it still works, it still counts, you still get your up to 12 free fractional shares. If you refer one friend by the end of November, Weeble's gonna give you 30 free fractional shares of some of the most rock solid companies on the planet, Ford, Coca-Cola, Starbucks, Apple, the list goes on. If you refer three friends by the end of November, Weeble's gonna give you one guaranteed free share of Apple with the chance of winning all the way up to 20. If you refer seven free, <laughs> if you refer seven friends to the app, Weeble's gonna give you two guaranteed free shares of Apple. Sorry, it's freezing out here. Two guaranteed free shares of Apple with the chance of winning all the way up to 20. Or I'm sorry, winning all the way up to 40. It's freezing. And if you refer a friend that enables crypto trading on the platform, Weeble's going to give you $5 worth of a crypto of your choice between, between Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, Sheep, and Cardano. Everything will be linked in the description. Once again, head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Are you investing in the stock market? When did you get started? How did you get started? And what is your approach? Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.